Never seen their perfect now in a nice little while. So anyway, keep plugging that, I guess. Really enjoying the ride all the same. Looks like some tracks down by the little joke of woods there. Not even sure if it's parmigan or not, but uh, anyway, I'm gonna go on over around there, come down along, and check it out anyway. Then I'm gonna swing up around this way and back over that hill, and then I'm gonna go on over to another area where I've seen a bit of porcupine sign last year. Uh, actually, I go a, a bit with a couple of buddies that uh, if I don't get near porcupine today, the beers are on me. If I get some porcupine, Beers is on them, so, so I'm gonna have to put a bit of effort into look for a porcupine or two now, uh, especially when the purchase is a bit scarce. But, uh, sign a line there, but uh, nothing uh, fresh, probably yesterday's. So I'm gonna swing around there. I always glance around, seem to see a porcupine cutting too, you know. Might get lucky enough, just happen on one. Bit of fresh sign there, four flight up and one over right there. I see him already pitched to. Flood around this knob here, and so probably pitched over here somewhere. So I'll just circle down around and come up around like that. I don't think he went very far. Gosh, I think that's them back there on the other side of the bank. Because when I swung down around, it might have been quite. I'm not sure if that's uh, parmigan or lumps of snow, but I tell you, I'm going back and find out. Tell you the truth, I thought I was gonna get the tree from the one shot, but I know the other two was pretty close just right over here, so I'm just gonna zigzag around a little bit and uh, see if I come across them. One just flied up and went over right there. I just seen where she flied again, she ran over by the other woods, uh, so she's not hurt. But I'm gonna go over and have a look now, all the same, and then come back and look for the other one here. The other one is hurt, it's right there. If I don't find the other one, he's not hurt anyway. I got the two that was hurt. 
murder took two shots to get in, but at least there's no shot uh, in the breast meat. And the other one pitched right there, and he come on up right here, and this is where he flied from, but he went out over towards the, the woods there. So uh, let's see if we track him down here now. Now it looks like I see he's a bit of sign over there. Put them back there in the bag, so I put like a, put a bit of snow on them as well, you know, keep them cool. Now the way we had the, the wind up here drifting, it, that's really fresh. So if they're not right here, they never fly too far. I normally go on up on that hill for a good look around, but uh, I gotta go look for a porcupine. I don't have a whole lot of time left. Uh, that's the old seal right there. That's not like available that way, so yeah. Move around, see can I uh, pick up on a, a fresh porcupine cutting. Two more. First time uh, having the snowshoes on today. There, and the other one right here. Now, the reason I swung in around right here is I seen some porcupine sign here last year. And since I got the privileges there, I said I'll walk in here now. Last year, now the porcupine was down this hole here, and I tried to dig in it with my snowshoe, but it was just too much snow. And uh, I was gonna come back here with a shovel. But then I went polar bear hunting, and after that the season closed, and well, that was it. But uh, I got, I took the footage, and uh, I said, wait till it comes back, you know, and and when I get the, the porcupine put it all together in one video. But who knows? I might show some of it someday in another video. And now we shall continue on hunting. I hope you're keeping count guys because I'm not really sure how many I got there now but I also know we're near the limit usually when I get kind of close I'll count them then but I could waste about it. There's a moose sign around here uh, never seen no fresh porcupine sign yet though <laughs> Well, I might have a chance yet. It almost looks like a porcupine cutting way over there, but I gotta try to figure out how to get up there and have a look at it. This could be the only chance of getting some free beer. Sure, how well you can see it, but it looks like a, 
uh, just where uh, a piece broke off and uh, exposed the, the fresh wood. Some old part we saw. Uh, this one uh, a little bit too big, I couldn't break it off. <laughs> I was ironing in through there, there's a little more elevation in there, it was all covered with, uh, with trees. So I'll come back. Just trying to treat myself to a real nice view here. Just look at that. Gotta love the old backcountry, boy. The groomer managed to get through here, but you can tell it though, it needs a nice bit more snow yet. See what I got this for. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, I must say, you know, uh, I never got my limit, but that's a that's a fine hunt all the same. Uh, but you know, this video is uh, getting kind of long now, so <laughs> yeah. So really appreciate y'all watching, guys. I uh, can't thank you enough. Uh, take care. All the best from the big land.